The release of Forms 2.0 introduces many new and exciting runtime features. You'll notice more vertical spacing, fast cell-to-cell -cell navigation, and the quick scrolling across the data grid. You'll also notice these usability improvements, reduced clicks, and removed pop-ups, clean new icons and dialogues, point of view drop-down and selection and search, tree-based member selector and search, built-in line item detail, wizard-based rule runtime prompt drawers. Forms 2.0 is available for enterprise profitability and cost management, free form, financial consolidation and close, and tax reporting, and for planning for custom and modules application types, as well as for strategic workforce planning and sales planning. To get started, your administrator needs to select the Forms mode, Forms 2.0. The Forms mode selection can be switched at any time between 1.0 and 2.0. No migration is needed from Forms 1.0 since this is a runtime change only. No form redesign is necessary. This setting is application specific and can vary across applications. When you open a form in Forms 2.0, you'll notice the new header menu on the top right. This menu houses instructions, refresh, search, property panel, and global actions. Above the point of view, POV, sits the quick toolbar. In addition to the right-click context menu, an updated iconic toolbar is provided. From here, you can adjust, grid spread, add comments and attachments, add line item details, and see change history. The POV spans the entire grid. Click the POV settings icon to view the POV setup options. From here, you can hide dimension labels to show a more compact look and feel, and you can select Auto Apply to instantly refresh your POV selections. With this option, there's no need to manually click Refresh. With the new POV dropdown, you have the option to select members with an inline dropdown instead of an external pop up. Within the dropdown, you can simply start typing the desired member to filter the list or you can invoke the member selector, giving you access to advanced features. The new tree-based member selector provides several new features, including descendant count information, ability to show invalid members, and a new locate member icon within the enhanced search that will, when clicked, show where the member lies within the hierarchy. With the new built-in line item detail functionality, you can select a cell or row and open a line item detail grid below the current grid. With the line item detail grid, you can enter line item details as needed. After line item details are entered, you'll see a blue icon in the upper right corner of the cell. Improvements were made for adding comments and attachments in grids. You can add comments to multiple cells at once. Multiple comments can be posted for the same cell. Other enhancements include uploading attachments with comments and the ability to delete posted comments and attachments. With the new wizard-based business rules runtime prompt or RTP drawers, when you launch a business rule, prompts are entered in the right side drawer pane. Prompts for multiple business rules can be entered in stations and launched together. With Forms 2.0, you can perform calculations on the fly in grids. This feature is enabled at the form level using a checkbox. Once enabled, using outline math and member formulas, grid-based formulas are created and evaluated in the browser when a value on the user's current grid is changed. This allows cell values to be recalculated based on a formula without saving to the server. You can save or discard the changes. To learn more, visit docs.oracle.com.